Will you stay no longer, nor will you not that I go with you? By your patience, no. My stars shine darkly over me. The malignancy of my fate might perhaps distemper yours. My father was that Sebastian of Messaline. He left behind them myself and his sister, both born in an hour. I am bound for Count Rosino's court. Farewell. The greatness of all the gods go with thee. So Toby Bell, sweet Sir Andrew. Ah, Sir Andrew, a cost. What's that? Uh, my niece is chambermaid. Uh, my name is Mary, sir. Uh, good mistress Mary, a cost. To a cost is to front her, to board her, to woo her. To assail. I might trust I would not undertake her in this company. That's the meaning of a cost. We think sometimes I have no more wit than a Christian has. Or an ordinary man. But I'm a great eater of beef, and I think that does harm to my wit. No question. Once more, Cesario, tell her my love. More noble than the world, prizes not quantity. It is that miracle. Queen of gems that nature pranks in her attracts my soul. But if she cannot love you, sir... I cannot be so answered! Say my love can give no place by no Danae. Give me my veil, can't throw it over my face. <laughs> ah. We'll once more hear Orsino's embassy. Radiant, exquisite, and unmatchable beauty. No, my profound heart, yet by the very fangs of malice, I swear I am not that I play. You are now out of your text. But we will draw the curtain and show you the picture. Look you, sir, such a one as I was this present. Is it not well done? Excellently done, if God did all. She made good view of me. Indeed, so much that we thought her eyes did lose her tongue, for she did speak and start distractedly. Be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great. Some achieve greatness. And some have greatness thrust upon them. <laughs> <laughs>